So in this video we're going to see an example of a homogenous catalyst, which is a catalyst which is in the same state as the reactants. So here I've had my shell sorts, um, which are heated up to about 75 degrees. I'm adding 24 hydrogen peroxide. And we should see that there is going to be um, a gas that's going to start to be evolved. Um, the gas that is going to come off is going to be um, carbon dioxide starting to happen now. Okay, so we've got a few bubbles and we can see that the gas is coming off quite slowly. Um, we've got a few bubbles of carbon dioxide coming off there. This is our catalyst, uh, cobalt chloride. You can see the cobalt chloride is a pink colour and it's the colour that I want you to pay attention to in this reaction. So I'll pop it in there, you can see the colour has immediately changed to green and we can hear and you can see that the bubbling has started to increase a lot more. This isn't because it's being heated, this is because of the um, catalyst making the reaction happen faster and you can see it's now gone back to pink because the reaction is pretty much over, still a few bits of bubbling going on there, but the catalyst has been returned to its original state. So it's an example of a homogenous catalyst. So for GCSE, your definition of a catalyst is probably something like this, but it speeds up the rate of the reaction, it doesn't get used up. For A level, we need a slightly more sophisticated um, definition of a catalyst. That it lowers the activation energy and is returned to its original state at the end of a reaction. So this is the um, reaction that I showed you in the demo today. This is a reaction of a homogenous catalyst, where the catalyst and the reactions are in the same state. Um, what happens here is we have our, this is our energy and our reaction progress diagram. Um, the reactants um, need a lot of energy input to get down to the product, but what the cobalt um, chloride 6 water did was lower the activation energy and turned it into a two step process. So it's like taking a shortcut. They both ended up at exactly the same place, just with the catalyst, um, it was a little bit faster to get there. Um, so the cobalt in its 2 plus oxidation state was pink and its 3 plus oxidation state was green. Um, another example of this um, can be seen here. Here we have two negative ions which are going to interact and because negative forces repel each other they're not going to want to interact. So what we do is we introduce iron as the catalyst. So positive um, 3 plus ion is going to interact quite nicely with the iodide ions and then it's going to come out as a 2 plus ion and then the 2 plus ion is going to be returned to its original 3 plus state at the end. We can write the overall equation um, together like this and because um, we have iron 3 plus here and we have iron 3 plus here we can get rid of it because we have iron 2 plus here and we have iron 2 plus here we can get rid of it and we are left with our original equation for the reaction taking place. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.